Hey everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Kaiba Rose and I'm here to offer you the astrology insight for the week of July 16th. So this week's report is all about encouraging us to tune in to our feelings and really honor what is no longer supporting our own experience of our divine self and how can we allow our feelings to guide us to what needs to be transformed in our life to what needs to go so that we can really experience that more internal connection to our truth starting with this week's astrology report on saturday the 16th we have mercury conjunct the sun at 23 degrees cancer Nurture your mind by sorting through your feelings with the intention to become more conscious of your emotional impulses. Write them down if you need to and gain a new way of processing your feelings and being able to communicate them. And burn away the insecurities and the self-judgment by doing the emotional work so that you can be more aligned with your divine self. On Sunday the 17th, we have Mercury trine Neptune and the Sun trine Neptune. Consider the feelings that you've brought consciousness to. What would you manifest in your life to help you process those feelings, to help you heal and live a more connected life? Focus on nurturing yourself so that you can align your vision for the future with that which will encourage you to feel more safe and secure inside of yourself and experience your own divinity. On Monday the 18th, we have Mercury opposing Pluto. Part of committing to your well-being is releasing the outlived and transforming the structures in your life. Consider all the work that you put in to become more aligned internally. How do you feel now? Really check in with your feelings and ask yourself, are the structures in your life supporting you? Or what do you really need to let go of and transform so that you can feel more stable and secure inside of yourself? On Tuesday the 19th, we have the sun opposing Pluto. Focus your attention on nurturing yourself by connecting to your feelings. You know what must change in order for you to live your best life and feel more aligned to your internal truth. And it's time to start preparing to live that way in a bigger way by really releasing anything that is not supporting you to live your divine purpose for society. On Wednesday the 20th, we have the third quarter moon in Aries at 27 degrees. Close this cycle by releasing the parts of your identity that are disconnected to your feelings and that only strive for those explosive experiences, those prideful moments of uniqueness and identity. Really focus on who you are and who you are becoming and what parts of your identity you are trying to nurture. Really align yourself with your internal truth and see that there is so much more to who you are and just feel that connection to your own divinity, knowing that you are enough and you don't need to have any sort of outward validation or prove yourself. Allow your own internal awareness to be enough proof that you are enough. That's all for this week's astrology report. If you would like a personal reading, you can contact me at 11kaivarose33.com. If you'd like to support my work, you can go to patreon.com slash kaivarose. If you'd like to find me, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and also TikTok. And other than that, I will see you all next week and have a blessed week until then.